Good day YouTubers, this time we're going to be talking about the Gerber 86 Auto or Automatic Air Knife. This is a knife that is uh, designed for the use by the professionals, and by that I mean the active military or the uh, police forces or their detective. Uh, because of that, it is assigned NSA or NATO serial number. That's why if you are an active uh, law enforcement or military, you can place your direct order using the serial number that is assigned to it. This is proudly made, proudly made in the uh, city of Portland in the state of Oregon, so you're buying an American product. So because of that, you will be giving a lifetime warranty if you are a U.S. resident or you naturalize as a U.S. citizen. But if you live outside the United States, you can buy this one and you will be giving a 25 years a warranty from any factory replace, uh, defect. You will be giving a replace a one. Before you buy this knife, I would highly recommend to you check with your uh, legalities and your regulations in your country, your state or province, or particularly in your city, because they all vary when it's regarding the spring assisted a knife or automatic knife, just to make sure you won't get in any kind of legal uh, trouble. From the factory, it's gonna come in this tiny box over here. Inside, there's gonna be the manual, the instruction paper, and also comes in a small paper with all the uh, warranties uh, specifying four different, the main a language world known internationally English, Spanish, French, and German. If you don't know any of those, please do your homework or at least learn to. Uh, the characteristic of the knife itself is going to be uh, you have uh, two types. You have one, the ones with the aluminum handle, which is the one I chose because it's the heavy duty ones issued to majority of the militaries. And you also, uh, the bottom on the front, the release. The bottom is going to be a uh, oversized, so if you are wearing gloves, you don't have to worry about using it or, or not. So it's not going to interfere with the function. Behind the release button or press button or whatever you want to call it, you're going to have the safety button. If you activate it and it's already deployed, you won't be able to fold it back, so it's going to prevent you from any uh, accident. But if you have it uh, uh, on safety mode, you won't be able to unfold it. I was kind of uh, afraid of uh, buying an automatic knife because of the feature that I was be. I might be cutting myself if I would press this button accidentally. Uh, you, ha you don't have to worry about that. Just keep it on safety and before you use it, just create the reflex. Sometimes I'm just watching a TV series or something and I just monkey with it, close my eyes and I, I just create the reflex so I can just release the safety, take off the safety and press the button. On the rear, you're going to have the glass breaker. This is uh, for pretty much first responder, uh, law enforcement. If they ever need to get a dog inside a car or people who are uh, high on drugs or something, you just can easily break any glass in any car or you get into a ditch and you need to escape from any uh, dangerous situation. This is extremely hardcore and really uh, heavy duty resistant. You have a, a hole for a line yard if you are into the military duty. On the other side, when you flip it around, it's going to have the uh, belt clip or your uh, bulletproof, uh, so you can insert it, you can clip it onto it. Uh, so it's going to make carrying a lot uh, easier. The belt, if you choose the plain or regular, like the one I chose, this is a lot easier for me to resharpen since they all go uh, uh, dull eventually because of use, daily use it. This is going to be around the 3.8 inches. If you pick the Tanto uh, model, either serrated or non serrated, like mine plane, it's going to be shorter. Also, the Tanto model is not going to be the aluminum handle, it's going to be a lot lighter, but it's going to be like a rubber, hot rubber uh, synthetic on the grip. So, something to keep into consideration. The weight is going to be around the 7 ounces. This is not a lightweight uh, carry knife if I ever feel threatened and I need to just throw it at something believe me I don't want to be on the other side because it's a seven ounces plus full speed this is definitely is gonna hurt the colors that is already sold and is available is gonna be the black I chose the black that's the one I can carry and it's way easier to conceal in my car and when I barely carry on my pocket sometimes uh, there is also a, an olive draft green anniversary with a silver blade which I'm not fond but it's just the options for those people who prefer those and finally, the camo version with the black uh, blade. Uh, but it's mostly, uh, I believe, that's really, really verticalized and exclusively for military use. I've seen it in a couple of places sold to civilians, but the price is just way above what the, the other ones are sold for. Uh, on the front, it's going to have some sort of finger guard if you ever need to do certain uh, 
with use more strength if you need to use it and at the same time it's going to give you certain protection if you're cutting between uh, things the blade i prefer the plain blade is a lot easier to resharpen versus this serrated and you can cut cables and wires with this one and use the disindentation to clean the rubber from cables uh, depending on your speciality if you're a military I would highly recommend this one if you are a law enforcement officer or a detective, a first responder, or if you just want to use it for your everyday carry kit, because you really, I would definitely put my life if in this knife I ever need to use it. I will not encourage any kind of confrontation or fight with a knife, but if it's your last resource to re defend your life or the life of your loved ones, or you're just uh, being attacked by a coyote or something, this is more than your, your bare hands, you know. Uh, the price, the current price is going to be around the $170. And you are a, if you are a military or law enforcement officer, of course, you will get the discount. Some of the places, if you go over the internet, you have to show your military or law enforcement ID. Some others you don't. So hurry up and get yours. I would highly recommend it for people who think uh, like I do, like the buy once, cry once policy. But it's up to you. I, was, I had uh, one before. Way cheaper than this one, my everyday kit. This is going to be replacing the, the one I had on my previous everyday kit. This one I definitely, definitely would trust my life uh, to. All right, friend, this is all I have to share with you. Thank you so much for your time, for following. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on your friends. Uh, you all have a wonderful day, and God bless you.